Hi, friends. In today's um, Little Bites, we're going to be speaking about feminine and masculine energies. In spirituality, when we talk about masculine and feminine, we're not talking about gender. We're talking about energy. The circular feminine and masculine energies are spiritual archetypes. Uh, representing the balance, the balance forces that exist within all creation, including human beings. These energies are not tied to gender, like we said before, but are aspects of consciousness that anyone can embody. Understanding and integrating these energies help individuals reach a state of wholeness, balance, and alignment with their higher selves. We all have both um, throughout, um, and we show both throughout the day. We're going to always tend to one more than the other, but we have both. It's interesting uh, to see in gay couples, although they're both the same gender, there's always one that depicts more of the masculine energy, while the other shows more a feminine side. Bringing this to life, I'll give you an example. I am clearly a woman and my prominent energy is feminine. But as a business owner, I am on my masculine energy for most of the day, balancing numbers and making business decisions. At the same time, I have to balance these energies very carefully given that I talk to people all day long, having to maintain Strong boundaries, masculine, while being warm and nurturing, feminine. So let's see them both. Let's start with the sacred feminine. This is often associated with qualities like intuition, nurturing, receptivity, creativity, is the energy of flow, emotion, and connection. This energy is linked to the moon, water, and the cyclical nature of life birth and death, embraces softness, sensitivity, and deep understanding of nature's, uh, of, of life rhythms. Now, some key characteristics. Uh, feminines are usually very receptive, being open to receive guidance, intuition, love, and support. It's also known for being nurturing, compassionate, caregiving, and supportive, creating spaces for growth and healing. That's why we create homes, right? Also to being very creative with the, the best creators, right? We create life within our bodies, um, <clears throat> expressed through artist, artistic and spiritual and imaginative endeavors, birthing human beings, uh, new ideas and visions. We're also known for being very intuitive. And there's a lot of men that are very intuitive, but this is, remember, these are energies. <clears throat> so these are the female characteristics. Uh, so uh, feminine characteristic is to listen to inner wisdom, trusting the unknown and moving with the flow of life. Also with emotional depth, being in tune with feelings, understanding and navigating emotional landscape with grace. The sacred feminine energy is linked to uh, goddesses in various cultures um, like Isis or like Shimi and can be accessed through practices like meditation, energy healing, moon rituals, and creative expressions. How about the masculine energy? So the sacred masculine is the counterpart, right? Uh, representing action, structure, leadership, and protection. It is dynamic and assertive, often associated with the sun, fire, and strength that this energy is about creating order, achieving goals and providing direction. Some key characteristics, um, all about action and leadership, taking initiative, making decisions and moving forward with determination. 
Also, uh, masculine energy is very protective, creating safe spaces, defending vulnerable and the vulnerable and um, establishing boundaries. Also about creating structures, uh, bringing order, discipline, and focus to uh, projects, ensuring consistency and progress. Also about strength, uh, not just physical strength, but mental and emotional and spiritual res uh, resilience. Logical thinking. Using reason and analysis to solve problem problems and create uh, strategies. So the feminine usually can do these things for in more in a more nurturing way. Okay. Now the sacred masculine is reflected in archetypes like the warrior, the king, and spiritual leaders like Buddha or Christ in their protective and guiding roles. Now how can we integrate sacred feminine and masculine energies. Achieving balance between the sacred feminine and masculine energy is key to spiritual growth and wholeness. When these energies are harmonized, they create a powerful synergy where action is guided by intuition and leadership is infused with compassion. In yourself, integration of these energies mean that you can take decisive action while, remain, while remaining attuned to your inner guidance. You are both grounded and receptive, powerful, yet compassionate. How about in relationships? Balanced energies allow for healthy dynamics where both partners honor each other's strength and weaknesses, nurturing a deeper connection. How about in spiritual practices? Balance brings alignment with universal principles, fostering harmony in all areas of life, career, personal growth, and connection to the divine. So here's some practices to balance these energies, okay? The feminine practices are meditation, creative expression, emotional healing, moon rituals, and journaling. The masculines are goal setting, physical movement, breath work, leadership roles, grounding techniques, like walking in nature or walking with your root chakra. So in spirituality, when we want to balance them both, we want to do meditation, which is feminine, starting with breath work or ending with breath work. I like to start with breath work, which is masculine and grounding while doing moon rituals and journaling. So you mix them both and you create beautiful balance and harmony. In spirituality and healing work, the integration of these energies is essential for practitioners aiming to channel higher frequencies as it allows them to operate from a place uh, of both inner strength, inner strength, which is masculine, and deep intuitive connection, which is feminine. I try every day. <laughs> Okay, my friends, I hope you have a, a re great rest of your day and have a fabulous and wonderful weekend. See you in the group. Bye.